says, hello, Clark. I recently had a fender bender in a rental vehicle. I I'm purchased- so sorry. Yeah. I purchased the rental with my Costco visa and waived all the optional rental insurance. I understand that card covers up to $50,000 in this case. The rental car company and damage recovery unit seems insistent that in their communications that I involve my primary auto insurance. Since the car I was driving was the only one involved in the incident and the damage is likely low in the thousands rather than the tens of thousands, I'd like to only use the credit card's benefit. If possible, is it still perfunctory to involve my auto insurance company? Grant, I'm the one who has to give you uh, pretty bad news. The Costco Visa card from Citi is what's called secondary coverage. It covers what your own automobile insurance does not. There are a handful of cards that are primary. If you frequently rent cars, I recommend you get those. Chase has a couple of cards that do that in the Sapphire branding. Um, Capital One has with the Venture X Rewards, so it's called. Anyway, the fancy Venture X card. And um, American Express, certain cards will provide really beefed up car rental coverage where you don't involve your own insurer for damage to a rental car. But most of them, what they do is they uh, are an overlay on what your own automobile insurance does not cover. So unfortunately, you are left with two choices here. One, if you don't want to mess up your auto insurance rating and, and costs moving forward with auto insurance, if the claim is small enough, you can just pay out of pocket to the car rental company, um, but that may end up being cost prohibitive. Two, you just have to process through your own automobile insurance, and then the Costco visa will cover what it does not cover. And so you want to inform both, and I wish I had a happier story for you about this. Didn't Costco change that? Like they used to offer primary? I don't remember if Costco, when when they had the relationship with American Express years ago, okay. when they switched to City, to my knowledge, it's always been secondary. And and we do have an article at Clark.com about which cards offer primary or secondary rental car insurance, just so you know. So the thing is, if you rent cars infrequently, it's not worth it usually to get a high fee, high annual fee credit card just for an occasional car rental. I'd say the tripping point is if you rent cars four or more times a year, once a quarter, then it's worth it to pay the annual fee on a card that is primary coverage instead of secondary. And I'm really, really sorry about uh, your auto insurer having to know about this.